Today in this lesson we're going to be doing a clay project. This clay project will be uh, both an art project and a music project. You're going to be making maracas out of clay. <clears throat> now as you know clay will turn into ceramics. So what we're going to do is we're first going to roll it out. We're going to roll it out on this uh, placemats because otherwise it will stick to the table. So just roll it on out so that it's nice and Thick. You don't want it to be long, you want it to be more like a square than a rectangle. Now the thinner you roll out your clay, the higher pitch the uh, percussion is going to be. So for a thin clay it's going to be like a tink tink tink, and then for a thick clay it's going to be like a clunk clunk clunk. So that's how thin or thick you want to roll out your clay. I'm rolling mine out pretty thin. The only thing is, is that you don't want it to be so thin that you can't add your texture because we're also going to be adding texture to this. So we're going to get out our texture plates and I've sprayed these texture plates with just a little bit of non-cooking spray so that it won't stick to the clay too much. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to lay the, uh, the texture plate onto the clay and roll it out. Roll it out not too hard and not too soft and as you can see it leaves that nice texture on your clay which gives it a lot more interest and you can roll texture over on top of other texture and sort of do like a quilted pattern and then where it doesn't leave the texture that's where it didn't roll out very well so you can go back through and add different textures and I'm using a stamp now I'm actually using uh, a marker cap to make this sort of stamped pattern so you can use stamps you can use textures. You can even use the bottom of your shoe if you would like. So if you want to go ahead and take your shoe off, you can use the bottom of your shoe and you can use your neighbor's shoe as well. So you can use my texture plates or you can use your shoe or you can use your friend's shoe or you can use some of the supplies at your table. Whatever you want to add texture to your clay. Then we're going to get one of the cutting tools and we're going to cut out a shape. And you can cut out whatever shape you would like. It can be an organic shape or it can be a geometric shape because that shape is then going to become a form. So I'm just cutting out this organic freeform shape and I'm going to take this extra clay and I'm going to roll it up into little tiny, um, just little tiny marbles. The smaller the marble, the higher the pitch. So the small marbles, if you have a lot of small marbles, it will make a, like a tink, 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 tink. And if you have a big marble, it's going to make like a clunk, 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 clunk. So depending on what kind of pitch you want, is depending on what marble size you're going to use. So I'm going to use different marble sizes and shapes. Then we're going to wrap each one of the marbles up in a tissue so that it doesn't stick to the clay. After we're done wrapping each one of the marbles up in its own little piece of tissue, we're then going to take five or six tissues and wrap it up into a big wad so that it will uh, create the air pocket we need. Now it's time to start gluing it all together. So we get a fork and we're going to slip and score it. So we first, with our fork, make little marks all around the edge. And then we're going to add glue, clay glue, which is called slip, and it's just water and clay. So this slip is like clay glue. And put that where all of the little marks are and that really seals the glue together. And then we take our wad of tissues with the little marbles inside and we close it all up, creating a form and you can create an organic form or a geometric form. Mine is very organic, very free form, kind of maraca shape. You could create more like a cylinder or more like a uh, pyramid, but I'm just gonna create this very organic looking shape. And then the last and very important step is when we write our name on our little piece of paper, it's very important that we pin it with some pens. This will create little holes for the hot air to escape so that our clay project does not explode in the kiln because hot air needs to get out. And to be sure, I'll be sure to pull out the pens before the clay shrinks around the pens. And then we'll put it in the kiln and when it comes out of ceramics, it will be a musical maraca.